Hello guys, welcome to Service Planet. Today I receive a HP 15R laptop motherboard. There is the part number Z S050 LA-A 992P. I receive it a date condition so that I will check first. Today in this video I will showing the step by step solution. If you found a dead laptop motherboard so step by step follow me and I think your problem will be solved so at first I need to check my VIN section is okay or not so that you can see here here is my VIN section and you can see here in my multimeter there is a 19 volt output so that my win section is absolutely okay <clears throat> then i need to check my 3 volt 5 volt section in this motherboard there is a 3 volt 5 volt section coil so i need to check first you can see here there is a 5.2 volt that means 5 volt section is okay and there is a 3.4 volt that means 3.3 volt is also okay so that I need to check the power switch volt here is my power socket pin number 2 is my switching pin so here is 3.2 volt comes after that I will need to check my high low high sequence so 3.3 volt there is no high low high sequence I think my power button has created a problem so that I will try to short with a tweezer So that you can see in my multimeter the high level sequence is perfectly done but the system cannot be turned on after that I need to check my super IO pin number I found in my same in semi stick to find which pin was on off switch so I made my power switch with a wire one pin is connected to ground and second pin is connected to on off pin so that I need to check my high low sequence is perfectly comes or not there is 3.2 volt if I press the power button it becomes high low high signal so that if you notice that my DC indicator is not glowing so this is a clue that I think my super IO is faulty because the LED indicator is not glowing so I need to one more step that this is my main bus I connect the pin number 8 there is no volt 
when I press the power switch there is no volt so this is this is the case of the super IO is faulty <clears throat> I will show you in the uh, semi stick so this is the semi stick and I already found it that the pin number 114 this is my one of switch so let's check you can see here it's already marking there is 32 there is 64 there is 96 and this side start with 97 so that I connect with pin number 114 connect with 114 there is 3.3 volt available when I press the power button the high low high signals come but laptop motherboard does not turn on <clears throat> I already told you that I have a doubt doubt to that my EC BIOS or my super IO may be faulty so at first I need to flash the EC BIOS because my super IO is a programmable super IO here is the number KB 9012QF this is a programmable super IO so I need to flash the EC BIOS this is my SVDO3 uh, super IO programmer I need the keyboard module so you can see here this is my keyboard connector and it's indicate 32 so I need to 32 pin flat cable and already connect here now I need to go in windows to flash the super IO so that I already download the EC BIOS there is the EC BIOS file and I need to program the super IO so at first I select the motherboard there is a LA992P HP15R model so I need to select it there is a warning motherboard must be unpowered ok and it show the check pin ok so that here is a message the please check ground from the programmer to motherboard ok so I need to read the ID here is the message the KVC status is false so I need to test it again read ID and now the super IO is connected with programmer so that I read it first after that there is a hex viewer option you can see here the bus file is showing the hex value that means my maybe my bias is corrupt so I need to open the 
टेस्टेड वायरस फाइल एंड आई नीड टू राइट द फाइल there is a four step at first it will erase the ec virus after that that it will blank check third step is it will start writing after that it will verify the writing is successful or not so if you found the four step is complete successfully that means your super io is okay so i need to verify okay messages so here is the verify okay that means my program is successfully right now i need to check the motherboard i need to remove the programmer you can see here the adapter indicator is glowing that means my ec bus is working and i need to press the power button you can see in my dc reading the ampere consumption is high and the my motherboard is turn on so i need to check the usb data you can see here usb data is coming that means my display is also okay so that i will confirm it connect the screen now i need to turn on you can see here my display is come and there is a system fan error message showing my system fan is not connected to the motherboard so friend if you found this type of problem you can follow the step and i think your problem will be solved so friend if you like our video please subscribe to our channel and share to our video thank you so much Thank you have a nice day